and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. Happy 2nd of December, everybody. Um, I have absolutely loved seeing everybody's um, diamond paintings, their day one that they've been posting on our thread in the group. Um, I'm loving seeing a mixture of Zesty Wolf and other diamond paintings all mixed in there as well. Um, I'm trying to find the time to sort of react to them all and give them all a little bit of love. Um, but I am looking at them all. But sometimes it's in that, you know, two minutes. And sometimes I just don't get time, but I will get there. I will get there. Um, I do also want to say, I need to say on this video, a huge well done to Giles. Um, for those that don't know, um, Giles and Sam own Diamond Art Studio UK, who um, amazingly partnered with us to bring this Zesty Wolf um, to everybody. And Giles hasn't diamond painted before, and he's given it a go with a Zesty Wolf. He's done his first square, and I just, I'm so proud. I don't know why, how, I feel like proud should be something for parent and child, and it's not that sort of situation, but I'm so happy that he's given it a go. Um, I think, I think just, just knowing how to diamond paint and having a go is just absolutely amazing. So well done to Giles, um, and, I, and I hope to keep seeing it. Um, don't give up. I want to keep seeing it every day please. <laughs> so, um, yeah, do you want to say that? For the advent today, for my advent, my diamond painting advent calendar, the number two box is empty um, because it does come in this envelope. So if you saw my unboxing of this advent calendar, I did unbox a few to sort of show you what was in there on my other channel. So on Add More Zest with Diamonds, I did do an unboxing where I unboxed a few of them. And number two was one of them, partly because I didn't realise it was number two first off. It does have number two written on it, but brain hadn't commuted. I uh, hadn't, hadn't figured it out. But this is what we get for day two. So there's four lots of these. But basically what they are is they are both, they're sticky on both sides, so it is a clear sheet that you peel back to get a sticky underneath, and then you can also peel back the back sheet to then stick this onto something else. So you can create yourself some little tags, some little stickers, and just use up those spare diamonds to create a little something, but there's four little sections. If you've got little people in your life that always want to have a go, this could maybe be their chance to, to give it a go um, and make something themselves. So that is advent calendar number two. Um, also today's tray is a zesty tray. I don't know why I've, I know why I've picked. So I picked the smaller orange zesty tray because my daughter wants to use this one or likes to use this one for her diamond painting. So I said, okay, I'll use that in tomorrow's video and then she can use it whenever she wants and I won't have pinched it off her. Um, but then I've realized that section two today, we have a lot of background color so normally I would have put that in a bigger tray, but that's fine. Um, it's still bigger than your bog standard tray. Um, this was a limited edition, so this colour has sold out. Um, it may be coming in the future. We may have orange again in the future, but we've got some colours that need to do its cycle. But this is in our smaller zesty size. And I'm using a pen today that was made from, it was from a seller on Etsy. I will pop a link down below, provided they still sell this pen. Um, they do offer it with um, the hole for another tip on the other end, but I actually asked about getting it looking like a pen. 
So this is my wooden pen. So that is today's. So let's have a look. We do have a lot of background on this one to start today. I think my cover sheets are pretty well lined up. So let's get quite a few of 775 tipped into the tray and give it, it, give it its wiggle. I like to sort of wiggle it a bit both sides and then any excess I like to sort of tip at this side and then you'll find me give it another wiggle later. But let's zoom in. I do have my computer here ready for comments, questions, etc. I keep moving this over now just to make sure that I get in as much as I can. There we go. Okay, I think we're I think we're gonna go with there because otherwise I'm gonna start hitting the back wall and I'm gonna start hitting my Mac. Now this pen doesn't have a glue dot in it. This is still has wax in it from last time I used it. I'm not sure whether I'm liking it as much, but we'll see how we go. I probably need to spend an evening putting glue dots into all of my pens and giving them a little bit of a prime so that they're ready to go because I must say I do I do really like working with glue dots. So I'm going to I'm getting all my flat edge first um, readjusting it is a poured glue so I can move my diamonds around a little bit if I need to to get myself that flat edge. I could pull out a gift card or a ruler or something flat to butt against. Um, but I'm just I'm personally used to doing it this way, but I think that's just because I've been diamond painting for so long. Now, the first sort of question comment I have here, I have kept this on for nearly two weeks. I've kept this comment on my YouTube um, because Erin Roberts has commented and said that her Zesty Wolf is all kitted up. She kitted it up along with me. Um, she did ask for a birthday shout out on the 2nd of December. So happy birthday to Erin. Um, I've kept your comment there um, so that I wouldn't forget because I knew that would be the best way for me to make sure I could say happy birthday to you. So I hope you've had a great day. I hope you've had a chance to get your advent done. And indeed, if if need be, even more than your advent, if that's what you wanted to spend your birthday doing. I hope you've been able to carve out an extra little bit more of me time um, for your special day. But I hope you've had a good day. Um, she does say she also has to ask which pen is your favourite pen that you own. Um, she's just started using glue dots and she's impressed so far. Yes, glue dots are amazing. Um, favourite pen tends to vary. Um, I feel like, I mean with the advent I try to change my pen every single day. Um, I'm trying to go through quite a few pens and I do own quite a lot of pens. But I find myself sort of starting to use one and then I seem to keep it for a good couple of weeks before I think, oh, I'm due a change. And then I might change it. I do tend to get stuck on a pen for a while. So I have a... The one that I used for, say, the last month or so was, um, it was a half size pen, so it was a little stubby one. It was from a seller on Facebook. Um, and I picked it up from there because I liked the idea of the half size. And I used that for quite a long time. And I've recently just changed when we because we are launching a new limited edition pen at the week on Friday um, well tomorrow 
let's try and get the day straight in my head. Um, launching a new limited edition pen tomorrow. And after doing the video to, sh to showcase the new shop items, I started using that pen. So that one's my current favourite, but it completely changes. I don't think there's any pens that I have that I don't love. Um, some of them for different reasons, but yeah, I like changing it up. I should get in the habit of changing it up for at least every painting that I do. But sometimes I sit down to diamond paint and I'd forgotten that I've not necessarily gone and picked another pen up. So I just end up using the one that I happen to have in my cart at the time. And, and so it, the cycle continues for quite a while. And I just keep using the same pen until I remember to change it for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, I have, I have loads of pens that I absolutely love. I don't think I have a favourite. I do prefer the metal tips. I will say that even this one that has the smaller metal tip where you take out the brass part. Um, I think I do prefer the full metal tips though, where you change the whole thing. Uh, like I got in the advent calendar yesterday. Um, the full metal pen tips do seem to not move about as much when you're placing diamonds. So that's probably that's probably my thing with pens that I'd say. The metal tips are worth getting as long as you get a good one. Mine so far are everlasting tips um, from the original seller of the metal tips and I love them. Love them, love them, love them. Um, okay, Jeanette, she says she'll be doing two advents with me. She's doing Zesty Wolf and Forest Snowman by Diamond Art Club. If she has the time, which I have a lot of, she says, I will be doing a Heaven and Earth design. She's also got small 30 by 30 Ever Moment ones. Uh, but a fave to work on at the moment is a heaven and earth design. She found them. She's found them very satisfying. Yeah, there is there is something unique about doing a heaven and earth design. I think because quite often it's working on a blank canvas, or it's the fact that you know you've bought them as separate items and put them together. They are really satisfying. I'm quite looking forward to working on my heaven and earth design that I purchased the canvas for. So it's a black, it's a black and white canvas. You can choose between black and white or colour. I actually chose black and white to keep that extra little bit of a challenge in there. I'm quite looking forward to working on such a big black and white canvas, a bit like the mystery ones can be. I'm quite excited to work on that. I think it will be nice to see that come to life as well. Uh, but I think the two I've got at the moment is probably enough. We'll see how long it lasts before I give in. Uh, Susan, I love Susan's comments. They're always, I think she comments on pretty much every single video. Um, and often, you know, a lot of thought and Thought, as, thought and time has gone into the replies. I do appreciate all your replies, Susan. Um, I do read them all, even if I don't get to comment on them all. Um, but Susan thought it was a great section of Minions painting, which was my last, my whip and chat on Sunday. Uh, she says the colours are gorgeous, which I must agree. I do, I do like the blues. Um, she says, I'm glad you figured out what I was talking about, about the zesty trays. So when I was discussing the Minions painting, I got very confused with her question. And then as soon as I'd answered it with what I thought I was answering it with, I realised I've got it completely wrong. <laughs> so I figured it out. But yes, I am using a zesty tray now on this whip and chat. Um, yeah, and using the, the colours while doing the advent. So yes, I'm using one of them today. I will probably, I will cycle in the other two at some point. I'm going to try and change my tray up as much as I change my pen up, just for variety. 
Um, she bought all three and she loves them. She says, when you showed us the new launch for December, she knew she wanted the black tray. I am very impressed with the black tray. Uh, she says, now I've seen you use it, I will have to get one. It's very sleek looking. Yeah, the black tray is printed absolutely amazing. I was really happy with how they printed. Uh, she says, thank you for another lovely, wonderful whip and waffle. Um, Elise. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure I keep diamond painting while I keep talking as well. Um, Elise says she loves my channel. She's from Australia. We have a few Australians that watch for definite. Um, she says she has one of our trays, one of our Admiral Zest trays, I think, or at least one of them, whether it be the big or the smaller one. Uh, she says she can't recommend them enough and she loves learning new things about the UK. She loves learning about different cultures and about how different they are. Um, well, I must say there's one thing that I did learn. I still don't know if I quite get it that about Australia is that they call um, they call flip flops or what we call flip flops. They call them thongs. So it's it's a shoe so it's basically a shoe with a flat part and then you have a little bit that goes between your big toe and your toe next to it so we call them flip-flops australians call them thongs uh, for us thongs are knickers uh, they're a form of, of, of ladies underwear that may be very skimpy on the back part is what thongs are in the uk so just to explain why, if if you do speak to um, somebody from the UK and mention thongs, they may give it a, a double take. And that is the reason why. Uh, we also have a brand of tape. So we have a brand of sticky tape used for the likes of wrapping presents. And the brand name here is Salad Tape. Uh, and it get quite often gets called salad tape by people. I have heard that has a different meaning in Australia as well. So there you go. That's a couple of things that I found out since my parents have lived in Australia. A couple of things that that my dad mentioned were a little bit different. Um, that they don't ask for salad tape because apparently that they they make something a bit different in Australia. Um, she says, Alice says that diamond art is amazing and it's definitely helped throughout the tough time of COVID and lockdowns. Yes, I think diamond art has become known to a lot more people due to lockdown. A lot faster, I think, as well. It's quite a new hobby and art, but it's definitely grown during, during lockdown in various countries it has given quite a lot of people the outlet that they need uh, and it's it's very very therapeutic which is awesome and um, she says she loves watching me do my heaven and earth design picture and she's brought a design that she'll hopefully get to purchase in the new year she got sucked in with diamond art clubs black friday and ended up with four. That's not bad going. That's that's not bad going. That is restraint compared to what I've seen some people have got. Um, she says, have you got or are you getting the People's Princess from Diamond Art Club? Yes, I do have the People's Princess. It is in my stash. Um, I kind of feel felt like it was a very much a UK painting. Um, and I absolutely love the design. So yes, it is in my stash um, and it will eventually get picked to be done when the app decides what big painting I'll be doing next. But that will be at some point next year. Um, when that will be, I'm not sure. Uh, she said, what's been your favourite diamond painting? See, now that changes all the time and often it changes for various reasons. 
if I think when I was asked this question at some point either last December advent or maybe it was even the June waffle I'm pretty sure that I decided that um, my blossom tree a big picture that I framed and was in my front room I think I said that that was my favorite picture and that was quite a lot down to the fact that it is a really big statement piece and it looked absolutely amazing when it was above the couch in the front room. We've now changed the front room into our bedroom since the kids have come home. So it may or may not go back up in there. I'm not sure. It's not quite the same decoration vibe as before. But I actually think my current, if you ask me my current favourite, I think it's Mr Quackers. Uh, so I very recently finished, framed and hung up Mr Quackers. And at the moment he still makes me smile every time I go up the stairs. And I think that's the reason he's my current favourite. Because he just makes me smile. Every time. Every single time I walk past him. Um which when you drink as much coffee as me can be quite often to go upstairs to use the bathroom. Yeah, I think he's my current favourite. He's just made me smile since the day I saw him. And yeah, I've really enjoyed working on him. So there was all that built into it as well. So I think that other one is my current favourite. But I do still have so many that are about the house. Um, I did a multi-panel custom from Ever Moment of a picture we took um, at Sydney Harbour. That's another one of my favourites. I even have one that is just a eucalyptus leaf that's in my kitchen. That's another one of my favourites. Yeah, I mean, I like all the I like all the pictures that I do for all of my diamond paintings. I like all the pictures for every painting that I unbox. I really like all the pictures that I keep. I think that's the way. I've got so many paintings that come through that come through this house now. I, I can't possibly keep them all, but I definitely pick pictures that I like and I keep pictures that I really, really like. Um, and I, and pretty most of them I enjoy the actual process of doing, unless the diamonds are awful. But yeah, I think Mr Quackers is my favourite at the moment. Because he makes me smile. Uh, Judy says she kitted up three large canvases and prepped them for the advent. She says, so when you call a number, I can pick based on my mood. So for December, I am not actually calling a number for December. I am just doing um, it in days. So this is the square with number two for the 2nd of December. In June, I let the app decide and spun a wheel to decide which square I was doing. But you can still pick which painting you fancy doing according to which number I pick. Or do all three, Judy. Why not just do all three? I'm hoping to have, I might need to put some more wax in this pen. See, this is why I don't miss wax. I have to refill every now and then. Let me grab some, I should have some in here. Yeah, I've got about four different pots and of course I picked the pot with hardly anything in it. But it'll do for now. Time in. squeezing out a little bit but we'll deal with any more of that after um yeah do all three judy i'm hoping to get some more of i'm still currently as i'm filming this i'm still working on the grinch christmas image i'm still only two thirds of the way through i did not get any time yesterday to do any more i was hoping for a bit of time today to do some more after filming this but I've actually been training somebody at work all day which has meant via teams so it's meant I've been talking all day via teams 
So when I finished work, I just wanted to sit and not talk for a little bit. Um, so by the time I've got this whip and chat filmed and got it all processed and uploaded, it will be time for a bath and bed. So maybe I'll get some more done tomorrow. We'll see. I am determined to get him finished. There's always hope that I'll get a little bit more done at the weekend. Um, though we do have a fair. We are doing um, my... So Megan, who works alongside me in many aspects of Admiral's Est, her friend is a deputy manager of a nursery local to us and they're having a Christmas fair and they asked us if we wanted to go. So I am taking some of the diamond paintings that have been unboxed on my other channel over the recent weeks. And all proceeds from that will be going to the nursery. Because yeah, that's, that's what the, the paintings do. The paintings that I don't keep, I, I often give them in giveaways. So there will be some more giveaways next year and that or I try and give back to the community in some way. So some have gone, there is a local, uh, a charity that's local to me called Crafts in Mind and they do help to bring crafting to people slash raise money. They do also do like a, a food, a local food bank and stuff. So I think they do sell some craft supplies as well as um, bring crafting classes and things to people. So I've also given them some donations of some items um, just to try and give that little bit back as and where we can. Uh, Liz Harrison, she says, can we have another November this year, please? Yeah, can we have a bit more time? I'm with you on that one. I'm really enjoying Advent. So excited to start Zesty Wolf for definite. Not quite ready for Christmas yet though. Uh, she said it's too soon for December the 1st to be on Wednesday. This was written on, uh, this was a comment on my Minions Whip and Chat. Uh, she says, looking forward to the Advent Diamond Paint Along. Uh, but not ready for it to be this week. Yes, I'm, I, I say I'm half and half. I am in no way ready for it to be December, but I'm so excited to be able to start doing Zesty Wolf. Uh, more excited than I am for my advent calendar with a little bit of chocolate in it, though it did taste rather nice. <laughs> Uh, Hello Queen Crafting, she says she had plans of kitting up a 40 by 40 Christmas image from her stash for Advent, but she fell in love with yet another extremely large Diamond Art Club Christmas painting. She says it is 70 by 99 and the one she did last year didn't end up getting done before Christmas and it was a 70 by 98. So she doesn't realistically think that she can get both the advent and the larger painting done um, during the Christmas season, especially since she's making Christmas presents this year. So a lot of time is going to be eaten up by cross stitch and crocheting. Wow, busy bee. Uh, so instead she's going to work on the large painting while watching my videos because adding more to her plate is going to be a recipe for insanity. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I do think sometimes we need to take stock of what we have decided to put on our plate and decide that when it comes to the crunch, what is it that either we want slash need? You know, and you have to weigh up the ratio of both um, and, and what potentially you could take off your plate or delegate. I will be taking a well needed break um, after the advent has finished. So just pre-warning 
that once the advent is finished, there will be no videos on this channel until the 2nd of January. And there will be, I think there is only one or two that will have been pre-filmed on my other channel. But it does give you guys a chance to catch up on any previous videos from throughout the year that you've not quite got round to watching. You can also peruse the video tabs on my website that gives you um, a lot of the key videos. So the comparison videos, the tips and tricks. Um, there's quite a few older videos in there that actually are still, still relevant. Um, and still helpful to new and old diamond painters alike. So do check those out as well. In the meantime, in that little week off, um, we will also be closing the shop in that time as well to give us um, time to update the website. We're hoping to... Um, we need to update it with the fact that Royal Mail's prices change at the beginning of the year. We're also hoping to um, double check the pricing, see if we can reduce any pricing on the website. I'm pretty sure of one thing we could potentially reduce the price of. We just need to do the math um, and check that it is something that's feasible. Um, and yeah, basically just have... A bit of time off, a bit of time to regroup, spend family time and chill before the new year, which will be here far too soon. Um, Petra, she says, hi, what do you prefer to work on? She loves portraits and animals and she says, greetings from the Netherlands. Well, hi, Petra from the UK, or oh, me, hi from the UK. Um, ooh, what do I like to work on? I think I really, it, I don't know whether it's a particular animal or not. I am very drawn to wolves and foxes at the moment. Um, they do look... Some of the paintings do look so stunning. I don't know why I keep trying to turn that diamond the right way up because I'm about to tip a load more in the tray anyway because this is a big section. So I need some more. Um, so I really enjoy working on colourful diamond paintings primarily. That's when I'm actually doing them. I love the paintings that have that pop of colour. Some of them I do still then in turn really like displaying around my house. It does depend on the image as to whether it subsequently gets displayed or not. But it's often the more subdued colours that are the ones that I display around the house, depending. Mr Quackers is pretty bright and he's up. Um, but quite often it is some of the more subtle ones that I tend to place around the house as artwork. But I do just love diamond painting in bright colours, I think. I enjoy the fact that the diamonds can change from one to another. Um, and they're just really, really colourful. I have enjoyed doing... Um, pictures of the likes of succulents and plants and you know like really homey homey things to decorate to put in those odd places around the house but the colours on those tend to be a lot more subdued but yeah it, it varies a lot I actually like the variety as well though I do find that it, it's nice to have a more subdued painting after doing a painting that has a lot of colour. I, I definitely enjoy the process of it and then when it gets near the end of that painting I'm excited to do a bright one again for a bit of a change. But yeah, I am often drawn to foxes, wolves. I'm trying to think what other ones has been raccoons and things like that that I've been drawn to recently. Some, some sort of more the wild animals than the 
pet animals that I've been drawn to. But I think that's just because there's such amazing artwork out there for some of those. Um, I also qu quite enjoy the process of working on paintings that do have some bold black. I think that's what made us choose Zesty Wolf as well. So the bold black outlines, I mean you can only see a little bit of on the here, but the, the bold outlines that you then fill in the middle, so a bit like yesterday's section. Um, and there are quite a few Diamond Art Club that are like that, so the Minions one I enjoy working on because it's got quite a bit of that in it. It's a, I think it's a Mandy Manzano one, the Minions one, I'm pretty sure it was. I really enjoy working on those as well. But yeah, I like to vary it up. I like to mix it up. And if it catches my eye, then yeah, it, it'll win over anything that I think I should like. I will pick something that I catch. It catches my eye over that. Oh, I'm still working through the whip and chat from the minions. Uh, oh, well, this will keep me chatting. It will keep me busy, busy, busy. Um, Laura, she says, love this video. She says, where to start? Comments are coming. She says she has two heaven and earth design projects. Both not started. Okay, well, having them is a start. So I'd like to argue the point of not started. You might not have placed a diamond, but you've kind of started. <laughs> she says she's trying to get more spares um, to be able to start them, which I do get. When I first started mine, I was originally happy to leave gaps and fill them in when I got those spares. However, it did turn out to be a little bit more tedious than I thought it would be and quite a bit harder to leave gaps where I didn't have colours. Um, I was very blessed in the fact that many subscribers sent me a lot of the ones that I was missing. So I didn't have to go too long without gaps. And I think that saved my sanity on my heaven and earth design quite a, a bit quicker than, than if I'd have, I think I would have caved and bought more if I'd have had to do it much longer. Uh, she says, then it brings her to the Diamond Art Club Black Friday sale. She bought two paintings, which were both square. She bought a cat and fairy and then fairy lights or fairy and fairy lights. I'm not sure. There's two ands. So it's either a cat and a fairy and then fairy lights or I think it's a cat and then a fairy and fairy lights. I'm not sure which way around that is. I tried not to look too much at the Diamond Art Club sale. I looked to see if anything would do that grab me. If it didn't grab me, I moved on. That was my way of trying to be good. Is it going to grab me or not? Um, she says she has a lot of painting in her stash and she's not supposed to be buying any more. I don't know if that spoils the fun though. So she's using the need more squares to justify. I think many of us watching would agree that that's a very justifiable reason. She does think that these will be the last purchase, her last purchases of the year. And she's hoping that next year will be purchase free. Is that the whole year, Laura? I don't know if I could do that. Um, she, if she ends up needing more colours for a heaven and earth design projects, then she thinks it might be cheaper in the long run to buy them to buy the drills more rather than buy the paintings. I would definitely say buying the drills will be cheaper than buying the paintings, especially if the paintings don't list the colours, because sometimes you will think a painting will have a certain colour in it and it actually doesn't. So I think that will be cheaper in the long run. Uh, but I don't know if I'd try and go a full year without buying a diamond painting. Maybe a month at a push if you've just had some orders come in. I could see that. She says she's look, looking forward to the December waffle. So I hope you're enjoying it. 
that's going. I say a lot of these comments are still from last week's whip and chat. I've had loads of comments on it and I'm waffling loads. So I will keep going. Every whip and chat, I will bring up comments and questions and we'll get through them all eventually. Uh, Cindy says she can't wait for the advent. Well, that's good. It's here by the time I'm reading this out. She says she'll be doing it this year for sure. She doesn't have Zesty Wolf. She's going to be doing Harry Potter 40 by 30 that she did plan to do in last year's advent, but life got in the way. Well, I'm hoping you're off to a good start this year, Cindy. Uh, she hasn't diamond painted in quite a few months, and then she got invited to a retreat, and she's happy to say she's addicted once more. Good. I did. It was one of those, there are a couple of people that I haven't seen on YouTube or on the diamond painting group for a while. Um, but I'm also very, very conscious that online I don't want to feel like a stalker asking them where they are and what they're up to. Um, but I do hope you, anybody who watches and is on the group or comments on YouTube just gets that, you know, life sometimes does get in the way. Um, and don't think that you've ever stopped diamond painting, that you can't come back. Because we, we love it whenever you're here, however much time you've got. Uh, I love to read everybody's comments. I might not have a chance to reply to more, but I definitely read each and every one. Um, yeah, so she got invited to a retreat. She's happy to say she's addicted once again. Uh, she said, I'm sending you a picture of Alice and her big painting she and her mummy, my daughter, is doing. Um, she's so proud of herself for doing it and she's impressed too. Her birthday is December the 1st. Oh, I'm sorry I missed it, Alice. Oh, if I'd have read that comment sooner, I would have shouted out on yesterday's whip and chat. I was trying not to read too far ahead for myself so that, you know, I would be reading it as I'm saying it to all you guys so i am sorry but happy birthday for yesterday alice um cindy did send me pictures of um her granddaughter doing her big painting with her mum oh her, she has got such a concentration face on while she's doing it and i love it two of my nephews my niece did do a little bit of diamond painting when i was over there um pre covid she did do a little bit of diamond painting but my nephew definitely had a lot more patience for it um and i love doing it with him and just the look on his face and one of my other nephews has since done a little bit because my mom diamond paints and i just love it i miss the fact i'm not over there sort of getting hooked into it all with them but it's really nice when they do enjoy the crafts and i think it, it helps with their motor skills and all that sort of stuff as well um, and concentration and I just think it's it's great fun. They might not have the same attention span but it's great fun. Right I'm just pulling out all my trays so my diamond paintings are in trays or my diamonds are in trays and I just needed to pull out a couple more I've only got like one or two different diamonds that I'm doing on this bit. So I'm just gonna dip my pen in the pot and see how that works. Um, see Little, she says her husband tends to get a little bit irritated if she's doing anything else other than watching a show with him. Um, he doesn't feel like I'm paying attention. Oh, sometimes my hobby does wonder whether I'm paying attention, though that's normally when he's watching something I don't want to watch and I've got my AirPods in and I'm listening to a book, which is fair game. <laughs> um, but I do quite often um, diamond paint while we're watching TV. And, and he is, I know he doesn't like it as much, but he is very understanding that 
it's what I need. I need to be doing something while watching the TV. I think it's just, it's a bit of give and take. I try and um, not do it every time I want to, um, to just appreciate what he wants over what I want um, and mix it up. I'm probably not as good as I should be though, because I do love diamond painting. So if you're watching Hobby, sorry, do give me a kick. Um, if you want me to watch the TV with you a little bit more and I'll try. Okay, I've still got loads and loads of questions to keep us going, though they're no more than a couple of days old, so that's good. A bit of a different section for day two. We have just got a tiny little bit of the bottom of Zesty Wolf here, but we have got probably the biggest, probably the biggest section. Maybe we've got another one on this side. Um, but apart from that, I think that is the biggest section of the blue background done. Because that one, while it has a lot of background, it has a lot of other colours as well. So it's nice to get that one done. But we get into the thick of it tomorrow. Get right into the heart of the diamond painting for a little bit. Mix it up. That's what I like. But 2nd of December or day two of the advent is done. Um, I have got a link down below to our Facebook group. So um, if you do want to join and post your progress or see everybody else's progress as it goes along, by all means, do join the group. Just make sure you tick to agree to the rules, which are very simple. It's basically just to be nice. Um, that will ensure that you get accepted um, into the group. And yeah, have a fabulous December, everybody. Um, I hope you are all getting everything done that you want. I hope you've had an awesome or are about to have an awesome birthday, Erin, whichever way round it is um, and yeah thank you all so much for watching I'll speak to you all again tomorrow